guys, in today's video I'm going to be doing a 100% honest review of some slime shops starting off with cutie slime. The first slime I reached for was Unicorn Dreams because I've actually had this package since December and I haven't touched it because like you can see there's multiple colours in it. There was actually a bit of pink but I think that's kind of sunken through but the colours are normally really vibrant and it's completely my fault for not reviewing it sooner. But like you can see the slime stayed in pretty much mint condition and it's so fluffy when you pull it. I was so impressed by this because when you pull it normally you have to pull it a few times especially if it's been sitting around for a while but this just needed a few tugs to become perfect and like you can see it's so smooth and so fluffy and I absolutely love the scent it's a mix of like lavender and just general aromatic sleepy scents because I felt so relaxed when I was playing with this this slime shocked me as you can hear what? But it hadn't been activated since December and I was so impressed with this because like you can see this is pretty much just a white glue base. She's probably done something magic. I did ask her but she said that there was nothing she did so I just think she has witchy powers if I'm honest. As you can see this slime is so glossy, so beautiful and I'm just so shocked that it lasted from literally mid-December to the end of March. I don't know how anyone could do this but it's amazing. The smell is so nice as well. It's kind of like a sherbetty berry scent which I'm a big fan of. I love sweet scents and I think the colours work so well in this. This scent really impressed me because I find with a lot of lemon scents you get that really overpowering sickly sweet cake scent but this was like a relaxing citrus scent with a bit of sweet in there. It didn't smell particularly cakey which I actually really liked. It was really refreshing from the normal lemon cake scents I get and like you can see the slime is super glossy. I love that the texture is put in there with a few of the flown beads and I think the colours go so well together. Last but not least from Cutie Slimes, we have Cake Batter Ice Cream, which is one of my favourites because I find with a lot of clay slimes, if they don't use Daiso, which I actually think she might have with this, then it goes really hard and it also turns like an off-white colour, but this was super white, it had really nice confetti flakes in there and it had a really relaxing vanilla cake scent, which I loved, and it was so thick. Again, it didn't need activating like all of her slimes, it just needed a little bit of lotion because the clay did go a tiny bit hard, but as you can see, then it just turns so smooth and your hands sink even more smoothly into it. Her extras were amazing. I am obsessed with sour sweets, so she included some Sour Patch Kids in the watermelon flavour and also high cheese, which I'm also a big fan of. She also included a care sheet, borax, and her packages were so well wrapped with bubble wrap and nothing leaked. Next up we have the Bomb Slime, and this slime is Fairy Fizz, which is another slime I've had since December, and I actually had to activate this again, which is why the colours have kind of mixed together. But this was blue and purple before, and the scent is so nice. It smells like a cotton candy scent, but it isn't overpowering, and the texture of this is amazing. Amazing. It's kind of like a crunchy icy slime. Like you can see it inflates so much and has such good crunch. Fairy drink smells just like a strawberry milkshake and the colour's really similar to it too and what I really love is on the bottom it has like these iridescent purpley pink glitters which make it look like the colour's shifting when you take the slime out. So on the top is a really light pink and then on the bottom is a dark pink but then when it's mixed together it's just really really cool and like you can see she included her racket she uses in all of her videos so I decided to use it on this slime and it was so fun.
this one's called Cotton Candy Crunch and as you can see the colours in this are beautiful. The slime underneath is a really thick blue clocky, clocky, clicky, <laughs> glossy blue slime and then the colours on top just work so well with it. I found that this was actually really lightly scented and it smelled a lot less like Cotton Candy than the first slime I showed you from her which I think was called Fairy Fizz but it was still really nice. It was just much more of a subtle scent than I was expecting from the name. When I flipped this slime over to see the name, it made me smile so much. It's called I Heart Talisa, and it's a really nice butter slime with some little glitters in there, and it's such a gorgeous floral scent. It kind of smells like peony and suede from Jo Malone, and it may be a dupe of that because it smells really similar, but I just loved it. It inflated a ton, and the more air you got into it by swirling it, the more soft the mixture was, which was really fun because I didn't have to add any lotion to this, and again, this is one that's been sitting around since December, and it stayed in pristine condition, was super stretchy, and I'm pretty sure it's made with Daiso as well. Fruity Foam's so crunchy and it's filled up with micro beads and it has a clear slime base so you get all of those really fun crunchy bubbles when you stretch it out and as you can see it also has Fermo slices with some fruit in there which adds to the colour. In my opinion it smells like the tropical Phantom Fruit Twist which I'm a huge fan of and it's a really subtle scent as well, it isn't overpowering and you have to really get in there to sniff it but I love this slime, I think it's so soft and it's so fun to play with. She said Tropical Sorbet isn't one she sells often, but this looks so much like Sour Blued Limeade from Parakeet Slimes, which I actually haven't managed to get my hands on, but it has a greeny turquoisey base with really nice colours on the top, and this one smells just like a mix of pineapple and kind of mango. It's a really tropical scent and I love it. Candy Crush isn't particularly stretchy unless you stretch it really, really slowly, which I don't mind because this just means it's going to be super crunchy, which it was, and it comes with a really nice charm. I think this might be from the Candy Crush game. I'm not sure because the requests on Facebook used to annoy me so much that I refuse to play it ever. The scent is really nice though. It smells so, so good. It's kind of like a sugar scent. It doesn't really particularly smell like sherbet or any of the typical sweet scents, but as you can see, it's quite tough to play with, but I don't mind because I love the crunch. You just have to play with it really gently. Her extras are really unique, so I got the racket she uses in all of her videos. She also gave me a ton of charms, some clear glue, some slime instructions, borax, and also this amazing makeup brush, which is kind of like a rainbow mermaid colour, and I just loved her slimes. Next up we have Slime Streams, and we're starting off with her bubblegum ice cream, which is a gorgeous cloud slime. As you can see, it's super soft. I didn't find this was really smooth falling. Again, it may be because I've had this since December, like all of my packages, because I'm a terrible reviewer, but this is just so nice to play with still. It just doesn't fall really smoothly when you pull it, but it still does act like a cloud slime and it's still really nice. I think maybe I needed to add a bit more borax. It's scented like a super sweet bubblegum, so if you aren't into sweet scents, I would definitely avoid this and try one of her other slimes. Next up we have strawberry cheesecake which comes with two super cute strawberry charms and like you can see it was a bit tough, again completely my fault because I've been letting it sit around so I just went ahead and added some moisturiser and it became so soft and like you can see it's so buttery. I'm pretty sure this is made with Daiso because when you pull it it has that really strong Daiso feel and I just think this is so nice, it spreads so evenly and it smells just like strawberry cheesecake from, um, strawberry cream cheese even from Glitter Slimes, it's just a bit more strawberry in there than cream cheese.
Her scents are seriously on point. This one smells just like clown blood from Slimy Cereal, which is one of my favorite slimes ever. And this smells so, so good. It smells exactly like the name. I couldn't put my finger on it when I smelled clown's blood because I was like, what does this smell like? But it's like a really tangy citrusy scent with a bit of fruitiness in there, which explains it because it's raspberry lemonade. This is a really nice flow as well. It kind of feels like the chewing gum slime I got from the Slime King. So it's kind of like a clay thick slime, but it just has a bit of texture in there. Captain Crunch smells exactly like the name, that typical kind of cereal milk smell, which I'm a huge fan of. It's super sweet and fun to play with. And like you can see, the colors are just like the cereal as well. And I just love slimes like this. I think it's like the most common slime that people make. And every time I get it, I'm never sick of it. I just want more and more. And this one inflates so much. I love how crunchy it gets. And the more you play with it, the fluffier it gets. And like you can see, this looks far bigger than an eight ounce when I'm playing with it with two of my hands now, just because I've gotten so much air into the mixture. For her extras, she included some cute things you can add into slime, like pigments and some toppings. She also included borax, a sweet, and everything was so well wrapped. It was really thoroughly bubble wrapped, and then underneath it had like this cling film. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you didn't watch my last video, you may have missed that I started a vlog channel. My first vlog is super awkward. I swear I'll get better. And if you want, you can suggest things that you want to see in the comments of this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope that you enjoyed it, and I will see you on Friday.